Dave, describe the halving and the positive impact that that makes for investors. So halvings reduce the rate at which new Bitcoins are created and thus lower the available supply. This can cause some implications for investors as other assets like with low supply, like gold, can have high demand and push prices higher. At this rate of halving, the total number of Bitcoin in circulation will reach a limit of 21 million in the year 2140, making the current in currency entirely finite and potentially more valuable over time. In order for Bitcoin miners to actually earn Bitcoin from verifying transactions, two things have to occur. First, they must verify one megabyte worth of transactions, which can theoretically be as small as one transaction, but are more often several thousand, depending on how much data each transaction stores. Second, in order to add a block of transactions to the blockchain, miners must solve a complex computational math problem, also called a proof of work. What they're actually doing is trying to come up with a 64-digit hexadecimal number called a hash. That is less than or equal to the target hash. Basically, a miner's computer spits out hashes at different rates, mega hashes per second, giga hashes per second, or tera hashes per second. Depending on the unit, guessing all possible 64-digit numbers until they arrive at a solution. The difficulty level is a relative measure of the amount of resources required to compete for mining new Bitcoin. It climbs or falls at the end of 2016 block periods, which is roughly two weeks, depending on whether the total estimated hash power consumed by the network has also increased or decreased. That is, the more miners there are competing for a solution, the more difficult the problem will become. The opposite is also true. So if computational power is taken off of the network, the difficulty adjusts downward to make mining easier.